Ladies and gentlemen, the short sellers are back at it again with AMC stock down 12% heading into the last couple of minutes here of the trading day. But I don't want you guys to be fooled. This rally is not over it's really only getting started and we have some data to go over along that realm as well as some major catalysts coming tomorrow that is going to send the markets up or down in a quite dramatic way in my personal opinion and also you did see a lot of news throughout the day a lot of russia ukraine headlines russia china working together more as well as a press briefing it's not with jen saki this time i don't know what her name is it's her fill in for her because she has covid but uh not good things were said there they were asked about a recession and basically they said it's possible but like the fed said it's improbable but as we start to get these higher commodity prices higher inflation levels you start to see that a recession is a lot more inevitable and also the yield curve inverting like i just said so we got a lot to cover our work is definitely cut out for us. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below your comments, questions, or concerns. By doing all of that, you help to push this video out to an even new audience, and that can help the community more than you guys do realize. So let's get into this video. AMC is currently down 12.73% right now, coming down, heading into the close, and it's really following the S&P 500 almost to a T. You guys can see these rallies in here when AMC goes down, it's likely because the markets have went down. And today is really the day of uh, people don't want to take on a lot of risky positions. So a lot of things are being shorted and sold off today, heading into this data point tomorrow. And that's called a risk off day. And what I really wanted to see with AMC is where do we find some level of support on these risk off days and you're definitely seeing that around $25 per share currently we've come down we've uh you know kind of tested 25 35 right there that was actually the low for the day and we bounced up quite aggressively coming down but not as aggressive as we could we could have seen a 20% sell off you know we could have seen a 30% sell off because even considering this 45% day right here this one day that we've seen we're still you know holding over half of that single day gain not even to mention the rally we've seen before that so to give back now we're at 13 percent down right now it's not a huge deal and it's not going to be a make it or break it moment for amc stock we are heading to a critical level like i said 25 dollars per share that's the first level to watch i have this line drawn but also the 100 day moving average if we can hold support above that that's where things get really, really interesting. And that's where you can see the next move. Typically, you see these rallies and then you'll come back down and then you'll come up higher. That's a bull flag. That is a bull rally, right? That's a bearish or a, a, a bullish rally that would be coming. You see it all the time, even in different rallies with AMC stock. You'll go up a lot and then you'll come down a lot and then you get those big, big moves. So just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, you know, one day doesn't uh change anything and it doesn't mean anything so just be very vigilant of that also be very vigilant of people that might make videos or articles today saying the bull rally is over for amc stock you cannot say that given where we are at on a technical basis until we break under either the 100 day moving average and then break under this trend line the bullish rally is still very much intact and we're still holding on to a lot of gains over the past couple of weeks since we did have that low march 14th if you guys hear my daughter over there she runs me so nothing i can do about that i do apologize but nonetheless let's get into this very important data piece tomorrow and that's going to be the core pce price index that stands for producer consum consumption expenditures and that's what the Fed really pays attention to. The markets like to pay attention to CPI, Consumer Price Index, but the Fed pays attention to PCE. That's their core principle of measuring inflation. And that comes out at 8.30 in the morning, and that's going to be the most important data point, as well as that you have continuing jobless claims and initial jobless claims that do come out tomorrow. The estimate is 197,000 initial jobless claims, and the the estimate for the consumer price or producer, see, I'm even saying it, uh, for the PCE is 0.6% annualized, 
what is that 0.6 times 12 that's about 7.2 percent inflation and there's really a tight range there the estimate is only like 0.1 percent difference the high end 0.7 percent low end 0.5 percent median 0.6 percent so if you go out of that range if it's lower than that for whatever reason that's going to be very bullish for the markets if it's higher than 0.6 percent not going to be a good thing for the markets and you could see a pretty red day overall initial jobless claims that could go either way the jobless claims they tend to be on the bullish side uh the last couple of months of readings we've really uh beaten expectations along those lines but that is really why the markets did freak out that's why you've seen the overall risk off sediment for the markets and uh just again pay attention to that now let's talk about this and the pce data tomorrow is going to affect this a lot if it comes in really high you might get the markets that start to actually react to this 50 basis point rate hike you're not really hearing a lot of people talking about this and during the last fed meeting there was only about a 20 percent chance to see a 50 uh basis point rate hike with it which is a half percent rate hike at the next meeting but since then, since the markets have started to rally, the markets are now firmly pricing in a half percent rate hike. And I've kind of been sitting back watching the expectations just continuously go up almost every single day and the markets are not reacting to it. So if PCE is high tomorrow, people might start to pay attention to the Fed rate monitor tool. This is not the only uh, tool there is, right? Bloomberg has their own, a lot of other uh economists have their own tools for this but it all reads the same at about nine rate hikes so if the markets really start to realize that's what we're facing or even more than that then uh not gonna be a good thing and you might see a rapid revaluation or repricing of the markets to the upside or the downside depending on that data point you also did get the fed that came out today and said hey we're essentially going to have to think about raising the federal funds rate up to about two and a half percent which is generally considered the neutral interest rate faster than not and also that we could raise as high as three percent by the end of the year if inflation does continue to hold up so that's really the important things that we did get out of today markets are up a little bit here in after hours but nonetheless it all comes down to that data point that we need to wait and see what happens uh tomorrow we're kind of in limbo until that does uh happen now as far as the ortex data for the day on amc stock let's take a look at the option flow sediment from institutional investors i really like to look at this because institutional investors they're not as willing as even some retail investors to throw money away throw money at a uh down down the toilet right some people they'll gamble their whole portfolios but if you're managing other people's money you're not going to necessarily do that right common sense here but for today you're seeing 104 orders totaling 100.46 million dollars positive order value of 75 percent now i like to pay attention to this because typically on amc's uh on during this moment in time where the stock was really just trending down you've seen the positive order value some days at zero percent some days at five or ten percent but not over fifty percent all too often but over the past couple of days even the red days we've been seeing uh yesterday and today you've seen the positive order value upwards of 70 75 even close to 90 95 percent so i think that does signal uh this rally is not over in that regard as well as that the shorts have not covered actually the short interest has continued to climb you've seen return shares of 3.6 million for the day borrowed shares of 5.5 million borrowed change of 1.9 million so that means almost 2 million shares were actually sold short today with a short interest now of 20.92 percent short uh shorted shares at 170 107 point not uh 79 million so the situation here is not really any different from where it was at the lowest point like the short interest is, is pretty flat throughout all the rallies we've seen 166 percent gain and the shorts have not covered anything 
give me a break a lot of people were saying sell out at 22 shorts have not covered this this trade is still very much on and alive more so now than it has been in a very long time just my opinion there let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comment section but the cost of borrow max did come down a little bit today now it's at about six percent which is still very elevated and if you consider the margin rates that have went up since the fed did raise interest rates and then every time the fed raises interest rates from now until they're done essentially we're pricing in nine rate hikes right now just this year every time you see margin rates will go up even my personal margin rates have went from two percent to two and a half percent just because the fed did uh raise interest rates a quarter percent so it's like double so just imagine what it's gonna look like towards the end of the year and uh you know my my price prediction was in between the 100 day and the 200 day moving averages by the end of the week and we're sitting well above the 100 day moving average right now so it's still beyond what i expected to see so i cannot sit here and be disappointed with a move down after it's already exceeded my price targets in the first three days of trading so it's all going to come down to that data point just keep that in mind i hope you guys are well positioned for that uh whether it's a bullish or a bearish reaction overall or text data looks good like i said shorts are not covering the option flows are looking pristine almost as good as you could expect from a 14 percent 14 and a half percent negative day 75 percent of orders about 75 million dollars worth of bullish orders going into amc stock I will take that on any red day I can get that. Now, as far as the stock O tracker data, you're looking at about 73,000 contracts that are in the money, 176,000 contracts that are out of the money. A lot of this is from institutional investors, like I just said. So that's going to play a big role coming tomorrow and on Friday. And we could see that continuation tomorrow, if not on Friday, as well as that. You're just seeing a lot of option volume on any given day still even on these red days a lot of options that are going through and that is uh definitely moving the stock dramatically to the upside on good days but like today to the downside on bad days but the overall trend like i said is still very intact now like i've talked about this already many many times the two and ten year bond yields did invert and they remain inverted that is a sign of a recession to come but in the meantime from the first time the yield curve inverts before a recession, it's usually about a year before you actually start to see the recession kick in and the market starting to drop. And you get an average return of about 19%. So that might actually fuel the next uh, rally to come is kind of playing the pre-recession run-up. Recessions come usually after big gains in the stock market and the real estate market as well well now as far as the other news points that did come out like i said during that press conference earlier uh today at about three o'clock that did wrap up uh the white house put out a claim that says the generals uh putin was t uh, getting orders from right or giving orders to i should say uh they misrepresented what they were seeing on the battlefield and kind of made him look stupid and uh really underestimated ukraine because of that so a lot of concerns about potentially what is russia going to do to counteract that are they going to use a chemical weapon or or a nuke or something crazy obviously goes without saying if that happens uh you're gonna see a lot of bearishness in the markets just just forget any bullish rally for uh the meantime so that's pretty much gonna be all for this video Another quick look at the technicals volume for the day did close at about 94 million, which is dramatically lower than what we have been seeing over the past two trading days of about 200 million plus in volume. So once that volume comes back, that's when you're going to see the next move up. The RSI did come down into more normal levels. It's at 65.56. Neutral is at 50. Overbought is at 70. So you're definitely in this realm where you could see another move up. Uh, you know, as far as the RSI is concerned, a lot of people were saying this is the cool off day that we really needed to see that next big rally up. The MACD is incredibly bullish as well. Look at that gap. It is just wide as hell. So I think it's going to take a lot uh, to really see the MACD go bearish or the RSI to uh, come down dramatically. I simply don't think it's going to happen. If you do watch the 100 day moving average as well as this trend line very simple for you guys to put on and i would watch to see if that does break so 
that is going to be all for this video. I'm very excited with what I am seeing personally. I think this sets us up for the next big rally. Thank you guys for watching. Get your free stocks down below in the description when you sign up for Moomoo. Moo. You guys already know the spiel. Deposit $1, get three free stocks as well as an additional free share of Neo upon your $1 deposit clearing as well as that. If you guys want to go follow me on Twitter to get all of the news as soon as I get news, go follow me on that. That is also free 99. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.